searching for it. Here. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we're here on Lake Worth Pier. We're in the shallows, and no bites, no hits. Been here about a half an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and um, move out to the little deeper. I've seen Pompano caught out a little deeper here before, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for that. All right, this is about midway. We're gonna post up here. I'm gonna use my cart as pole holders. Definitely a sign. You don't see any break here. You don't see any break out there. You see all the break right here. So I'm gonna assume this is a shallow area, which could be good. So at this point, I haven't caught anything. I'm midway into the middle of the pier. I'm actually gonna go a little further out next, but uh, there weren't that many people fishing on the pier. And as you can see here, there's a guy leaving. That was like one of the five other people who are fishing on the pier. Not a good sign. So uh, I re-rig here and I put on a one ounce jig instead of the half ounce, see if I can get a little more action out there. But nothing really happened. Um, it was pretty unsuccessful on eventful day out there on the Lake Worth Pier. I've had success there before, but not today. Right, Florida guys. Fishing Friends. Florida Fishing Friends finest. What are we doing today? Well, we're in Pompano right now. We're, uh, we're gonna go catch, uh, we're, we're gonna go try to fish for some Pompano, some permit and maybe some muttons. It's a okay. beautiful day. And this is also a continuation of the other yes, video is. that I started on the Lake Worth Pier fishing for uh, Pompano. Put another uh, crab out there. Like All right, I'm gonna switch out the hook because we're actually fishing smaller baits right now. Normally, when I get these calicos, they're pretty big, but these little babies, I gotta use like about a one uh, about a 1020. 30 or 40 pound test line. Obviously, you're a traditional fisherman's knot. Be careful when you do that because you will stab yourself if you don't do it the right way. Make sure that knot is nice and tight. So, what we want to do is we want to take off this little bottom leg because this little bottom leg, if you don't, it's going to go ahead and bury himself in the sand. And when he bears himself in the sand, the permit or the fish cannot see him. All right, there we go. You bought the crab? You only bought one, two crabs? Well, can you look in the bucket and see more than two? <laughs> oh my God, don't worry about it. Listen, Florida Fish and Friends. You look like my friend. That is Brian. Oh, that is Brian. Do I look like Stevie oh. D? What's going on, bro? <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, that looks like Brian. That looks like Brian. I said, do I look like Stevie D? <laughs> I love it, dog. What's going on, brother? Sand flea with the fish bite. That other Pompano rig is a three hook. This is a two hook combo. And this one has circle hooks. We're going to do it like this. Like that. All right, let's see if we can get some sand fleas. We got the sand flea rake. Actually, this is not a sand flea rake. This is a shell rake. Shell rake, but we're gonna use it like a sand flea rake. Check it out. Nothing. Nothing in there at all. Got a big one right there. There's a big one right there. Hey, can I get some blueberries with that? Not, a, not even a bite. Very but I did, uh, I went to the pier yeah. up in uh, Deerfield Beach. I got a African pocket eye. Did about, you? About 30 inches. Nice. Yep. And I got, Sweet. Uh, I got four 
uh, redfish, but they're all other size. Yeah, nice to go to fish friends. Nice to John, Stevie. John, how you doing, boss? Brian, Russ. go to fish and friends. I've oh, seen you oh, guys. Oh, you didn't? I've seen us. you guys. Nice, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, yeah. That, when, when I'm at home, and it's cold and stony and stuff, and I want to get a little, a little, a little, a little motivated, I go on YouTube and I watch fishing videos. We expect to have a new subscriber by the end of the day. That's a sand perch. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, sand perch. So I'm gonna show you what I do when I wrap up my pompano rigs. If I leave them on my rod, I stick the hook inside the float so nobody gets hooked. Like that. Look at that. That's something eating that. These are brand new. This is my second time, first time using this. Huh. Crazy. thinking these guys did a lot of fishing and didn't catch a lot of fish well you're right we didn't catch a lot of fish and guess what that's what happens when you're fishing sometimes you don't always catch so here's some recent catches that we've had fishing friends friends we are on the fish ladies and gentlemen
Dana, Fish City Pride. We put us on the fish today. It just goes to show you don't need to own a boat in Florida to catch fish, right? That is correct. And they can put you on the fish. I've been on a lot of charter boats where they'll stay in one spot for a real long time. Move twice, maybe. This guy will move the boat every 30 minutes or 20 minutes if he doesn't feel that like you're catching. So that's what's really special about this boat. Check out Fish City Pride, Hillsborough Inlet, Pompano, Skip Dana. Follow him on Facebook. What's your Instagram? Captain Skip Dana. Captain Skip Dana on Instagram. Florida Fish and Friends. He's out.